And joining us is one of Casey's daughters, Carrie Kasem. Carrie, thank you for being here. We know this is obviously a, a really tough time. But first of all, I just want to let you know how beloved your father is and, and just someone that we all grew up with. And what I love about you coming on our show and talking about this is it raises a lot of questions that people often don't think about. And what we want to ask you is being in the situation where you love your father very much, mm -hmm. how are you dealing with not being able to see him? You want to start me crying already? <laughs> I, I, I can tell you're, you're close. Yeah. It's really hard because we're such a close family. Um, I mean, there were times, years, that every single day I talked to my dad until he got sick. Every day. And he would not only call me, but call my sister, my brother. We were an incredibly close family. He's my hero. The reason why I have work ethic, morals, and integrity is because of my father. And not seeing him when he needs us the most has been the hardest thing. Did you, did you see this coming at all? Mm -hmm. that it, did, it, did it happen all of a sudden or like slowly that you were getting shut out uh, from his life? No, this happened um, immediately. Uh, we weren't un uh, invited to the wedding. She didn't want us there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, other kids were there and we're, we're looking at the pictures and like, well, why, why, why couldn't we be there? Can I ask you, is, you know, I know that he's bedridden right now, but cognitively and mentally, is he with it? And is he... He knows we're there. You know, and I, now I haven't seen him in over three months. So he knows we're there. And he smiles and he can... You can ask him questions like, you know, do you want some water, Dad? Are you hungry, Dad? So his... Yes. Okay, okay there's a chance. I mean, your dad may be watching this. Mm -hmm. So if you want to say any words to him, just in case he's watching... Well, I, you know, I don't know if he's watching. I don't know if he'd be allowed to watch this. Um, but, you know, this is something he did when his mom was dying of cancer. He was doing um, a show that was televised, and he looked right in the camera, and he said, Mom, get better. And that's, that's all I want from my dad, and I don't know if he can, and I don't know if he's even on the right medication. We're not allowed to talk to his doctors. And it's not just the kids, so I don't want this to be like, you know, the, the bad kids hate the evil stepmom. It's not that. I don't know her. I haven't seen her. I've seen her twice in 15 years. I don't know her. I don't know her daughter. Um, so all this stuff about how we're toxic and this and that, she doesn't know us. Mm -hmm. let, let me read this statement from Jean Kasem so you can respond to it. She released a statement in legal papers this week saying, because of unspecified disturbing conduct by her stepchildren, visits with their father in the family home would be an intolerable and an unpleasant experience for us all, including specifically Casey. What is she referring to there? I don't know. I mean, I just, I think she's pulling at straws at this point because she knows how much we mean to him and how much, I, I so. Is she it, trying to hurt him and you all at the same time? I mean, in my opinion, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, the issue and, is there's and, and, three sides. You know, we ha we're not speaking to her. There's, uh, so there's well, her I'm going to say that... this. You and your sister are fighting a good fight. People all over the country are doing the, having these same types of issues, and I'm yes. just proud of you for fight, standing up and saying, you know, you can't, you can't keep my dad from us. And the story reminds me so much of my dad that it just hurts. And... It hurts. And, and you know what? It's so true. I, I do a radio show, and I have people writing me. Uh, saying, this is happening to me. Yeah. And what's so crazy about this is that most, I can't, I can't think of one, one incident where it's a uh, man doing this to a woman. It's always the woman doing this to stepchildren mm -hmm. or even their own kids. Yeah, sure. So I've been receiving a lot of mail about that, and I have a last name. So doing a protest out, shooting it, and asking people to come and say, hey, look, can you get this story out there. I have a last name. I can do that. Most people don't, well, and they don't have the money to hire attorneys. Right. We thank you for bringing this to light. And, and the really? one thing I want people to think about at home is this in many ways is another example of thinking about end-of-life care. And so it's so very important to have a plan in place while everyone is healthy so that you know exactly what's going to happen if you become ill or someone you know becomes ill. Carrie, best of luck to you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for having me.